Cecil Staten is filing a new bill that will take taxing power away from the Bibb County School Board. That means the new commission will be in charge of their budget. We spoke with some board members and Senator David Lucas, who's calling the legislation racist. 41 NBC's Ashley Minnelli joins us now with more on that bill. Senator Staten says this bill is a response to what he calls shenanigans and dysfunction on the Bibb County School Board. He says he doesn't want to take away their power, but they're not spending your money correctly. He feels this is what he has to do for the residents of Bibb County. It's written in black and white, and State Senator David Lucas says that's the obvious message of this drafted bill. As lawyers would say, probably face it. On its face, it's racist. The author, State Senator Cecil Staten, doesn't entirely disagree. In a news conference introducing the new legislation, Staten said this measure is absolutely about race. The majority of our students in the Bibb County school system are minority African Americans and other minorities. I'm doing this for them. What he's doing is moving forward with a bill that would take the taxing authority away from the Bibb County Board of Education. It would require the board get their budget approved by the Macon Bibb County Commission under the newly consolidated government, a power the people gave the BOE in 2004. Given the outpouring uh, of concern that I have received, I have no compulsion or no concerns about doing this as local legislation. Board member Lester Miller says hearing about this measure is a little concerning. And as a new member of the board, it's also disheartening. What's the purpose of bringing all these new board members to try to get things back on the fast track if you're going to turn around and tie our hands at the same time? In a news release, board member Jason Downey said, quote, I've heard from many parents across Bibb County who are crying out for hope. I understand their frustration and why Senator Staten is offering his bill. Our community cannot stand it any longer being the way it is. Board member Dr. Wanda West told 41NBC Bibb County doesn't need this. She said, quote, the divisiveness is killing this community. There are white citizens in Macon and Bibb County that don't like the promised neighborhood or Dr. Dollarman because he's changing things as far as education in Macon, Georgia. But Staten says this bill is about putting a stop to what he says is an excessive amount of money being spent on administration. This is a step that can help us regain some order and uh, hope. To be clear, we did reach out to all eight board members. Some of them told me they didn't want to comment until they saw the legislation. Now we'll continue to follow this bill and keep you updated as it goes through the legislative process.